Hi, my name is Matt Reich and I'm a first year here at Michigan Tech and I'm working here at the most lab with the Gigabot X behind me. So the whole project that I've been working on has to do with the Gigabot X right behind me and this is RE3D's um, prototype of the Gigabot X and what's, what's cool about this 3D printer is that it prints from polycarbonate pellets instead of a filament. So this project has to do with um, optimizing the Gigabot X to print recycled polycarbonate. Now this, this printer had been able to print um, PLA and ASA before, but it had never before printed polycarbonate. So it was my job to go through and optimize the temperature settings and the extrusion multipliers and the extrusion width in order to get a good quality print from it. So what I ended up doing was printing roughly 200 lines, each at a different speed and temperature combination, um, since the Gigabot X has two heating zones on the extruder. And through, the, through all these tests, we were able to determine the ideal printing temperatures, which would give the best results. And then after that, we printed uh, tensile and compression tests on the Gigabot X with this recycled polycarbonate, and we compared those to uh, tensile and compression tests printed from a regular 3D printer on a TAS-6 with commercial polycarbonate filament. So we studied polycarbonate because it offers both high strength and high heat resistant uh, properties, which is really useful for more demanding applications. And then what's really special about this polycarbonate is that it's recycled. So. So in order to test the high strength capabilities of polycarbonate, we printed a, a windshield ice scraper out of the polycarbonate on the Gigabot X, and it showed that the polycarbonate was able to sustain the, the hard ice of scraping windshields. And then in order to test the high heat resistance, we printed out the, the head of a steamer, a floor steamer. And traditionally, floor steamers will eventually break down and become brittle as just under normal use. But since we printed one out of polycarbonate, um, the polycarbonate, because of its, its heat resistance, will last a lot longer and overall be a lot cheaper since the whole thing's made of recycled polycarbonate. So another high temperature application for the polycarbonate is actually making injection molds. So because the melting temperature of polycarbonate is a lot higher than say ASA, which is what, it's, what I'm holding here, or PLA. Um, we're able to actually make molds out of the polycarbonate and then use an injection molder to inject PLA and ASA into those molds and we're able to get uh, testable tensile samples. What this work shows is that polycarbonate pellets is a viable form of polycarbonate manufacturing. Since polycarbonate filaments today cost a lot, if we are able to move more towards fused granular fabrication using pellets instead of filament, um, people can print bigger parts faster and a lot cheaper.